Welcome, my Rose Dos, and welcome, Shokri Asmara. Uh, can I start with the first questions? Are you guys ready? So, how did COVID affect the day to day service provision for you? Is there anything that changed? Uh, thank you uh, to Health 2.0 for having it. It's, it's really, really nice to be here uh, with Khalil and uh, Shokri. As Khalil mentioned, uh, personal friends. Uh, that picture was taken on a bright and sunny day in Alexandria. I hope that we uh, get to have a picture like that again soon. Um, so regarding COVID, uh, it's been a very challenging time, uh, both professionally and personally for everyone. Um, I'm very proud of what our team at Dewi has done uh, for pushing through this past uh, few months and a half and uh, being there for our patients. Uh, in mid-March, we came up with a crisis management plan um, that had all uh, different indicators as to uh, related to the spread and risk of COVID-19 in Egypt. Uh, and these indicators had a specific action plan that was communicated to the whole team. Uh, and every time something came up, we had a clear action plan uh, to go through. And that I think that made us um, very, uh, it made all these different changes smooth. Uh, it made us able to stay on track uh, and provide um, our services to patients um, in the midst of all this uncertainty that we're all going through. Uh, the safety of the team and our patients uh, are, of course, is of course the, the top priority here. Uh, we suspended a lot of work on uh, non-urgent cases, especially in dental, uh, during the month of April. And that, of course, was a big hit to the business. Um, but I think, um, I think we will see a V-curve in healthcare. Healthcare is one of these uh, industries that's very, um, that, that comes back strong. It's a basic need that everybody needs. Uh, and, and I do think we'll see a V-curve in that. Um, with curfew, of course, related to what other changes, what has happened also with curfew, uh, with Ramadan hours, we've had to shorten our working hours. Uh, we usually run our clinics until 10 p.m. We've now had to close at 5. Uh, and that was a challenge also to, to um, schedule our patients efficiently so we don't have a lot of people in the clinic at one time, uh, to provide the same services, uh, to, to push out some of our services through telehealth, uh, to rearrange our staff and, and come up with different staffing models uh, to be able to be there for our patients. Um, I don't think any other major changes. I hope that has answered the question. Uh, Flawless as usual, Rose, and uh, thank you very much for telling us this. But can you, can you, can you tell me more about Dewi's services? You've been uh, growing by the minute. I mean, every time I go to sleep, I wake up, there is a new branch. <laughs> Don't go to sleep for too long. There'll be ten. Okay, I, I stop sleeping. <laughs> we uh, currently uh, have ten uh, branches during uh, the COVID out, uh, outbreak. Uh, we've had to close one of them. Uh, that is uh, in uh, in uh, Wedi Degla Club, which is you know closed by regulation, government regulation. Uh, we also postponed the opening of our first branch outside of Cairo. In nice. Tampa. So wow. that was yeah, that was uh, a big challenge coming up, and we're hoping to resume uh, expansion hopefully uh, right after Eid in the next coming few weeks. So yeah, 10 running branches and more to come this year. Great. Uh, Shukri Asmar, uh, uh, tell me about Exa One Health. Uh, and tell me how did COVID change you or how did COVID push you or were you ready? Were you planning for this outbreak? <laughs> we were planning for it, but not now in Q4, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Came a little bit early, huh? Yeah? <laughs> no, no. Our detection, all our detection tool did not uh, did not uh, <laughs> detect it. Except, yani, actually, yes, maybe uh, we we acted maybe a little bit earlier than other because we are part of uh, the AXA group and and they pushed us to act a little bit earlier uh, due to the, the the outbreak in Europe, uh, much severe, especially in France, in uh, Spain, and Italy. Uh, so it was group uh, group regulations to put us act. Maybe a little bit faster than uh, than than the normal in Egypt, uh, and it's very similar to what Mayros said. Uh, it's um, we had our crisis committee uh, that is uh, focused on how to do things better, protect people, and protect our employees. Uh, and a big uh, hooray to our frontliners working uh, uh, in the front lines in the clinics uh, till today. Uh, yes, on reduced working hour, yes, on reduced uh, personnel, uh, but uh, we continue to serve our clients. Uh, we had at the beginning the confusion of uh, 
we were just opening some of the branches, the second branch, and it's either uh, encourage people to come or to tell them no, don't come and, and stay home. And uh, and uh, and very quickly we we shifted or accelerated as 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 we will talk today a lot, uh, accelerated the plans we had uh, to go on retail for digital health because we already do retail uh, we do digital health for our insurance clients uh, for the last four five years five years actually. So now we accelerated it and launched it on retail, and we are giving the alternative to uh, our uh, booking client uh, to, uh, to to switch to a teleconsultation, uh, either by phone or by video, uh, up to their ease. Uh, and we did that uh, quite quickly. Uh, like uh, we launched it, I think around the, the 15 or 16th of March, which is quite early uh, in the process. But because we were uh, we were having already the platform, so that's a lock for us. Uh, and uh, the idea is to keep serving the walk-in clients, which uh, do not stop. Keep uh, the the physical distance, as you say, Khalil. Uh, keep the hygiene approach. Uh, educate uh, the clients when they come, uh, and uh, have a right approach with our uh, staff of nurses, uh, coordinators, and doctors to keep uh, a smile. Keep uh, the right. Uh, approach to the client to not panic them more than they are, uh, especially if they feel some of the symptoms. Uh, and to set that, so it's a, it's a strong shift in uh, what can come earlier than what we expected as, uh, as AXA One Health to accelerate the steps of the digital health faster even than when uh, we were launching that on a step-by-step. -step. Uh, we think, and I think we will talk about this today, uh, serve our client anywhere they are, and in the mean, they want. Uh, definitely, definitely, it's a tougher uh, situation on the offline visits and the clinics. But when you switch to uh, digital, you compensate that not from a revenue perspective only, but only also may and mainly actually for this time by serving the client when they need it uh, and being there. Great. So have a smile behind the mask while being physically distant. That's uh, that's great and definitely Shokri always an inspiration and always uh, I wouldn't say uh, with the ahead of the curve.